Hello students, welcome to Show of Sir Classes. So in this video, we will be solving question number 3, 4 and 5. 3, 4 and 5 from the model question paper of SAT examination. So if you are preparing for the scholastic assessment test, this video is going to be very much useful for you. So please watch this video till the end and this is a continuation of our video series on SAT examination. Uh, we have previously made many videos on SAT model question papers. And in this video we will be solving three questions from the section 4 of SAT examination. First starting with question number 3. The graph below shows the total number of music albums in millions each year from 1997 to 2009. So this is the number of years and this is the sales amount. So in the x axis we have it is years are measured and in the y axis the sales in millions are measured. So co the question asks that based on the graph which of the following best describes the general trend in music album sales from 1997 to 2009. So what is the general trend in 1997 to 2009? So if you look at the graph first starting from 2000 starting from 1997 till the third year that is 1998, 1999 and 2000 this is year 2000 so third the third year is 2000 till the year 2000 the sales of music album increased and after that after that the sales of music album gradually decreased so option C says that sales increased until 2000 and then generally decreased is our correct answer for question number 3. Next question, question number 4. There is a table of n and function of n. When the value of n is 1, the function of n is minus 2. When n equals to 2, function of n is 1. When n equals to 3, function of n is 4. And when n equals to 4, function of n is 7. So which of the following defines n? So you have to say which of the following defines n here. So if you look at the first option, option a, fn equals to n minus 3. So for the value of n equals to 1, 1 minus 3 that is minus 2, it is correct. So first one is satisfied. Now for the next 2 minus 3 f of n equals to n minus 3 putting n equals to 2 2 minus 3 is equals to minus 1 hence it is not correct so option a is eliminated now the next option f of n equals to 2n minus 4 so for the first option that is n equals to 1 so we if we put n equals to 1 we get 2 into 1 that is 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 so n equals to 1 satisfies that f of n will be equals to minus 2 with the help of given equation. Now when n equals to 2 we put the value of n here as 2. So 2 into 2 becomes 4 and 4 minus 4 is equals to 0. But here f of n, n is mentioned as 1. So this is also eliminated. Now option c says that f of n equals to 3n minus 5. So 3 into 1 for the first one 3 into 1 minus 5 that is minus 2 for the second one 3 into 2 that is 6 minus 5 will be 1 for the third one 3 into 3 minus 5 that is 9 minus 5 will be equals to 4 and last one that is 3 into 4 that is 12 minus 5 that is 7 so f of the value of f of n are as of the table minus 2 1 4 and 7 minus 2 1 4 and 7 hence option c is correct for question number 4 that is f of n equals to 3n minus 5 in this question we have started solving the question by the with the help of given options and our third option becomes correct now question number 5 
एट लिंकन हाई स्कूल एप्रक्सिमेटली सेवेन पार्सेंट एनरोल जूनियर्स एंड फाइव पार्सेंट एनरोल सिनियर्स वेर इंडक्टेड इन टू नैशनल हनर सोसाइटी लास्ट इयर इफ द इफ देर आर फिफ फाइव सिक्सटी जूनियर्स एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टू सिनियर्स एनरोल्ड एट लिंकन हाई स्कूल लास्ट इयर हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द क्लोजेस्ट नंबर ऑफ जूनियर्स एंड सिनियर्स एट लिंकन हाई स्कूल लास्ट इयर हु आर इंडक्टेड इन द नैशनल हनर सोसाइटी सो सेवेन पार्सेंट ऑफ द एनरोल्ड जूनियर एंड फाइव पार्सेंट ऑफ द एनरोल्ड सिनियर वे आर इंडक्टेड इन टू नैशनल हनर सोसाइटी सो फाइव सिक्सटी टू वॉज द नंबर ऑफ जूनियर्स सेवेन पार्सेंट ऑफ हुई विल बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव सिक्सटी टू इंटू सेवेन बाई हंड्रेड सो फाइव सिक्सटी टू इंटू सेवेन बाई हंड्रेड एंड एंड द सिक्स हंड्रेड टू सो सिक्स हंड्रेड टू इंटू फाइव बाई हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड टू is the number of seniors 5% of which were inducted to national honor society so the total number of seniors and juniors who were inducted into national honor society was the summation of these two the summation of 562 into 7 by 100 and 602 into 5 by 100 so 562 into 7 by 100 and 602 into 5 by 100 is solving which we will get 69 so 69 is our answer for question number 5 we are not showing the calculation here if we calculate the 562 into 0.07 and 602 into 0.05 the summation of these two will be equals to 69 so this was all for today's video if you have any doubt or any queries you can call us in this number Nine eight three six seven nine three zero seven six, or you can send us email at showupsirclasses at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you.